DJ 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Pass with all your dishes, pots, and sports nights. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment. And a hotel. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glorious. glorious. Hey, Shalom, D.C. We're at the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Since 1969, we come out to teach the truth that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true ethnic Jews that the Bible speaks of. And that the colonizer, uh, 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 the, the colonizer is the devil that the Bible speaks of. See, we come out to teach you the truth. There is color in the Bible, and a whole lot of Christian pastors want to tell you that color doesn't matter, or that there is no color in the Bible. That is false. There is color all throughout the Bible, and it's very important to understand what a person's color is in the Bible, because you'll realize if the, the person in the Bible looks like you, you would treat that person a whole lot better. You would be more brotherly to that brother more sisterly to that sister. So what we're going to come out is going to just bring out some color scriptures, prove that there is color in the Bible. Then give me a Daniel chapter 7 verse 7, Brother Gershaw. Chapter 6. See, because color is very important. It's an identifying marker to everybody. Everybody uses color. You have it on your job application. You have it on your birth certificate. You have it everywhere you go, you are identified by something. And this is just color. And the Catholic Church went out, went out and whitewashed our pictures. They whitewashed Jesus. Because they knew Jesus Christ was the, the was a black man. The, the most important man that ever walked this earth. And they changed his color. They lied to you. The church lied to you. But I, as you became, will not lie to you. All right, get that scripture for me, bro. Daniel 7 and 9. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The Daniel's having a vision right here. He saw that a throne was coming down from heaven. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days, that is the Most High God. He's called the Ancient of Days because he is before time. He is older than time. Keep reading. Whose garment was white as snow. All right, and the, the Most High had a garment that was white in color. Right here, color is in the Bible. He had on a white garment, as white as snow. Continue reading. And the hair of his head like pure wool. And the Most High God had woolly hair. What nation of people do you know have woolly hair? 
the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, you have woolly, heart, woolly hair, and God has woolly hair just like you. You look just like God. Keep reading. His throne was like the fiery flame. The Most High God's throne was just made of fire, just orange and red. You know, the, the flame. And flames have color, which are orange, red, amber, uh, burnt sienna. Keep reading. And his wheels as burning fire. The wheels on his throne are the exact same as the throne, fiery. A flame as the color of red, orange, all in that range. Uh, it is color right here in the Bible. So your Christian pastors can no longer lie to you and say that color is out the Bible because it's right here. All right, bro, can you give me, um, let's get to uh, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. I'm going to bring out all type old color scriptures just to prove to you that your Christian pastors, they are not telling you the truth and they have your best interest not in their minds. The Roman Catholic Church robbed our history. They know that the people of the Bible are black. They, fuck it. They, they have it in front of us. They, they, they are hiding it in front of us. But we know the truth and we're coming out here to give you the truth. All right, read that, brother. Tell, tell them where you at. The book of Ezekiel, chapter one. Verse 5, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. All right, four living creatures came out. Keep reading. And this, and this was their appearance. This is what they looked like. They had the likeness of a man. Each one of these four creatures had the likeness of a man. So pay attention to this one. Hold on. And every one had four faces. Every one of those beings had four faces. One on the left, one on the right, and one behind. Also with the one right in front of him. Keep reading. And every one had four wings. And each one of those beings had four wings. Keep going. And their feet were straight feet. They had straight feet. Like, a, like some animals have straight feet. But we're going to give you a description of what the feet are. And the song of their feet was like the song of a calf's foot. Like a calf's foot, like a deer. Like the foot, it goes straight down into the hook. So they had straight feet. Their feet didn't come out like human beings, but they had straight feet looking like deer. Keep going. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Say that last part again. And they sparkle like the color of burnished brass. They sparkle like the color, color of burnt. Say, say that one more time, brother. And they sparkle like the color of burnished brass. And those feet were sparkling, and they, they were gloriously shining brass. Brass is the derivative of brown. That is what the angels look like. The angels were black. The Most High God is black. Everybody in this Bible is black. All right, we're going to come out with some more color scriptures for you. All right, let's get uh, let's talk about the greatest man that walked this earth. Uh, uh, let, let me get you uh, Revelation chapter one, verse one. The Book of Revelation, chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal, to bring out something that was hidden before. Yeah. This was a hit right here. Did this man right here? Yeah. This is not Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is Caesar Borgia, uh, son of Pope Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was a homosexual. He killed his his sister. Let's look it. Look, this, this, this is not this is not who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ was not a white man. All right, get, uh, drop me down to verse 13, brother. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. The seven candlesticks represent the seven churches that were made in Asia Minor. Keep reading. 
one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man? Who's called the Son of Man? Jesus Christ. Yahweh in the Hebrew. Period. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. Now this the Yahweh Jesus Christ, who, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he had on a long garment, it was glorious, down to his foot. He read it. And girt about the pots with, with that golden girdle. And he had a girdle. This is, this back in the day, they called your midsection your pats. He had on a girdle on his, on his midsection because he was a man of war, like his father, the most high. Key reader. His head and his hands were white like wool. Hold on, hold on. His head and his hairs were what? White like wool. See, the, the Jews, it's like, his head and his hairs were white like what? Wool. So, Yahweh had white woolly hair. White is the color, wool is the texture. And what nation of people have woolly hair again? The 12 tribes of Israel, so-called black. Hispanic, Native American man, you had hair just like Christ has hair. The same texture. Be real. As white as snow. As white as what? As snow. As white as what? Snow. Be real. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So we have white as snow, the white color again. And his eyes were a flame of fire. Two reasons. Because he was angry and sad because of him looking at the conditions of his people and also because he drank some wine. So, um, drop that, uh, yeah, uh, title concert. All right, uh, keep, keep on reading for me, brother. Verse 15, and his feet like are to fine bread. And his feet, his feet, when you look at your feet, your feet might be a little bit lighter than the rest of your body, but it's the the same color as the rest of your body. Your feet uh, is not a totally different shade from your face. So if you see, if a man is looking at this man's feet, so he's seeing the, the color of the rest of his body. Say that line again, brother. And his feet were unto fine bread. His feet looked like unto fine bread. Fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. So this man's feet were brown. Christ's feet were brown. Color in the Bible. Keep reading. As if, as, as if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? Burn in a furnace. Now if you put anything into a furnace, what's going to happen to it? It's going to come out darker. Everything that goes into a furnace comes out darker. As if they burned in a furnace, this man had very dark skin. His feet were very dark. So the rest of his body is going to be dark too. Thought that from the beginning. Verse 15. Verse 15. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 15. And his feet like are to fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. He was a very dark skinned man. And with that, we are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. And since 1969, we come out to teach the truth that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. Shalom, Israel. It's that time again. The week of Passover is packed with exciting events. Hosted by the ISUPK and Commanding General Yohan. On Tuesday, a deep sea fishing trip with the generals. Arrival and boarding time at 7.30 a.m. The boat leaves at 8 a.m. sharp. Then on Wednesday, April 13th, join us for the annual lamb slaughter from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Making sure the children of Israel have fresh lamb for the Passover. Then, after that, the ISUPK is having a fish fry from 4 p.m. until, which will lead to the scripture breakdown class with General Mahayim. Then, on Thursday morning, Hebrew Academy participants will see if they have what it takes to endure the Hebrew Academy trials. Commanding General Yohanna has something special lined up for the children with a children's party from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Come join Commanding General Yohanna on Coco Beach as we 
renew our oath unto the Lord. by a hotel ballroom, all black and Hebrew Academy dinner from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And then on Friday, April 15th at 5 p.m., join us for the Lord's annual Passover as commanded in the scriptures at 5 p.m. sharp. On Saturday, April 16th, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That's right, we're gonna keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Commanding General Yohanna has it all lined up for you, Israel. Come keep the Lord's Passover. Shalom.